A huge thanks to today's video's sponsor, Piedmont Lithium. Hey, Sean from All Things EV here, and this is a quick hot take on Cadillac's new all-electric SUV called the Lyric. Cadillac did a product reveal earlier this week, an online one, where they showed off this beautiful looking SUV, a very Cadillac looking SUV, and they did share some of the specs that it will have. So first I want to cover some of those primary specs, then I want to go into just a quick hot take, provide my opinion, and of course I'd love to hear what you all think about the lyric down in the comments. The Lyric is built off of the Ultium platform, which is GM's modular, built from the ground up EV platform. They'll use this platform for all of their vehicles across all of their lineups. And this is really promising to me because this means that GM is thinking about how to build an electric vehicle, how it should be, and not by converting a gasoline vehicle to electric. There's always been some compromises there, and that may be part of the reason why the Chevy Bolt has had relatively lackluster sales in the United States. The Lyric will offer a 100 kilowatt hour battery pack and have a nickel manganese cobalt aluminum chemistry using a pouch style cell produced by LG. And if you follow the EV industry, you already know that GM and LG inked a formal joint venture where they will be building a gigafactory in Ohio to produce cells specifically for GM vehicles. And to me, this is a really good sign that GM has inked a formal JV with LG. I've long said that if any automaker wants to get serious about electric vehicles, they need to get into the battery manufacturing business. And though this isn't to the level that Tesla is doing or what we think that they're about to announce here in the next month or so with actually producing their own cells, this is where Tesla started with their joint venture with Panasonic way back in the day. This is actually a really great opportunity to say a quick thanks to today's video sponsor, Piedmont Lithium. They are a lithium hydroxide mining company, and they've got a project in North Carolina, which if LG wanted to buy lithium from Piedmont, I think it would be a really, really great strategy knowing that the lithium is being mined in North America and the distance and the environmental impact that that lithium has to travel to get into a car is relatively short. A lot of lithium around the world is mined on other continents and shipped from those continents to China, then processed and then sent to Japan and then sent to North America to put those cells into electric vehicles. So to shorten that distance, I think is great all around. It should cut costs down. It should cut the environmental impact down. So thanks to Piedmont Lithium, now back to the video. Cadillac said that the Lyric will offer beyond 300 miles for this 100 kilowatt hour battery pack. It will offer a 19 kilowatt AC charge rate and a DC charge rate up to 150 kilowatts. Cadillac says that they'll start producing this vehicle in China for the Chinese market in 2021 and in 2022 for the US and North American market. So here's the deal. In North America, Cadillac traditionally appeals to a more mature demographic. It's my understanding that Cadillac does appeal to a younger demographic in China. But if they're going into the Chinese market, they have to understand that this is an incredibly competitive market. There are a lot of electric vehicles, some great, some not so great. So I'm really curious to see how they do in China. As for North America, I have some question on whether they will be able to compete at all. As I said, the demographic for Cadillac in North America is traditionally older, and older people aren't as quick to embrace technology and something new. So my question is, will Cadillac be able to compete with some of these market leaders and some of the newer players in the automotive market that are producing some very compelling EVs? My personal opinion is that Cadillac has a brand crisis if they're going to compete in the SUV electric market in North America. It looks like a Cadillac, and though Cadillac at one point was the aspirational American brand for luxury, it is no longer. So how are they going to convince the tech savvy, the early adopters, the younger generation to buy into the Cadillac? There is no doubt that 
They've taken a very detailed approach to the types of materials that they're using on the interior, as well as some of the technology features on the exterior. And that's not to mention some of the technical capabilities or lack thereof of this vehicle. 150 kilowatt charge rate may have been sufficient five years ago, but we're talking about in 2023, really that standard should be at a very minimum 250 kilowatts. If you want to convince people who own a gasoline vehicle to convert to electric. Now, I understand that most of the charging takes place at home in a garage, but you still have that mental barrier that you have to help people get over of what about the ability to be mobile and to get around and to go on road trips, though those road trips probably aren't common for most people in North America. It is helpful to know that there is that freedom in the event someone would want to do that. Now, this brings up another point, which is what about the charging network? They're going to be partnering together with EVgo and you know, it is what it is. In, in two or three years from now, that network may be more built out. I can say that there are some other charging networks that are far more mature in terms of DC fast charging. But this is something else to keep in mind. If you want to persuade a gasoline vehicle owner to convert over to electric vehicle, you've got to have that density of DC fast charging. And I have my reservations about whether 150 kilowatts is going to be sufficient enough for that gasoline owner to jump over to EV. The other question that I have is, will 300 miles be sufficient in 2023? That's three years from today. The standard for electric vehicles today for SUVs is already 300 miles. So in three years, what will that standard, what will that bar be set at for that market leader? Will it be 400? Could it be 500 miles? So if Cadillac is planning on coming out with an SUV that's got 300, they'll be coming in well under where that market leader is at. To me, it really seems like the electrification of Cadillac and really GM's fleet is too little, too late. These stats in 2023 will be significantly under par and not very compelling for that matter. For people that want to stick with a brand because they've had it for decades or that's what their family has always bought, fine. But in three years from today, the bar, the standard for electrification, for range, for charge rate will be significantly better than what it is today. It's important to keep in mind though that just because GM and Cadillac announced some stats today doesn't mean that they won't be able to improve them by the time this vehicle comes out. So even though they said beyond 300 miles, maybe that means 350, maybe that means 400. And maybe by the time they start producing this vehicle in North America, the charge rate will be closer to 200 or 250 kilowatts. So I do think that that's important to keep in mind. Overall, I'm excited that GM and Cadillac are thinking about an electric vehicle built from the ground up. This Ultium platform sounds very promising. I think it's going to allow them to maximize the range as well as user experience for those people who choose to buy their brands. What are your thoughts? Will the Lyric be able to compete in a growing competitive electric vehicle landscape in 2023? Sound off in the comments down below. A big thanks to those who are watching this. If you're new, consider subscribing. If you're a regular, an easy way to help me and the channel grow is to share and like this video. If you wanna take it a step further, I do have a Patreon page that is in the link in the video description. Sean from All Things EV, thanks so much. I'll catch everyone on the next video.